This is the Good Ride review of the 2020 Optimistic. Grant on the Optimistic. And you're thinking, no, it's not the Yes 2020 or the 420. 2020. The 2020, we're at hindsight 2020 coming up. But anyways. I'll look back in 2021 and let you know <laughs> about 2020. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we rode this with um, Union Falcors and that's really all I've wanted to ride with. These are the most responsive bindings I own. Rode this with our trusty Adidas Tactical ADVs and uh that was all that was all we needed um you know to give you a quick summary of this board it is take the optimistic from last year that had kind of materials that are like in the y now and give it a new poppier top sheet um just you know it's got that kind of like cool black base like the um yes pick your line generally has uh like my old pick your line had um the, with the wood top sheet and just give it this ultra light, um, you know, top sheet, and it just becomes a more poppy, dynamic version of last year's board, but at a much higher price point. Um, let's get into the flex. It's just got a little slightly stiffer. It's not too bad. Yeah, more energetic. I really flex like the flex on this board. than the Y. And now the Y, though, it's like it feels like the flex is about the same. But this feels like maybe it just goes, it just springs out faster. Yeah. You know, the flex. Quicker rebound. Yeah, it resists just a touch more and snaps a touch more when you push into it. Um, it's really poppy and drivey. And that with the modern camber, like riding the Yes Basic, basic Decade with a similar top sheet, um, it was just Camrock and I was like, wow, this thing is poppy. It's poppier than every other Yes. And this does the same thing. I'd love to see this on the pick your line. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Um, instead of the wood top sheet, um, you know, cause this really has some energy. Now, one thing with the basic decade, I have noticed some chips here and there. Um, you know, we're reviewing this a season ahead. Uh, so, you know, we're in 2019 talking 2020 and I've been riding my basic decade and it's been getting a little chipped here and there kind of mid season. I'm starting to notice a couple little dings and such and I'm not sure if that'll happen with this and I won't know because this is a demo and I'm trying to treat it nicely and give it back to you. Yes. Unless you want to give and, it to me, I'll take it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm hoping for a 51 of my own uh, next year because that this is just lively and snappy and fun. Um, the on snow feel kind of like definitely a little more on the technical side than the Y. The Y is, uh, you know, cam rock. This is modern camber. This is a little extra camber. Check the on the table review. You can see there like what what's happening. And, um, you know, it's got that kind of like pretty technical kind of on the strong side of advance to expert kind of rider wants this board. You don't want to skid turns with this. Uh, you can a little bit, but it's a very wi short, wide platform that doesn't really lend to those who skid their turns. Um, it's 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 got some consequence to it. It's technical, and you really just want to make turns the whole time. That's what this board's about. It's about just a deep side cut that really likes to engage into a turn. The edge hold is exceptional. Um, it's up there. It's up there near the top with this underbite technology. You can see this indention, and uh, that disruptive side cut helps with turn initiation, but also helps with giving you uh, way more grip than you would if you didn't have it. Um, you know, as far as 
turning experience goes, or turn initiation, like the Y, like the Optimistic last year, it's got a little more spring out of the turn, but still it's slow edge to edge, but fast once the side cut's engaged and then it, especially when you get down into a, like when, I, when you're on the 54 and I'm on the 51, it's such a circle carver. Yeah. It's such a circle carver. And you would think that would suck making, making wider radius turns, but it doesn't. No, it's a good compromise. Yeah, I mean, yes, getting the initiation of the turns a little further, but the side cut is so deep that yeah. Yeah, it's, a, the, it's the good more, balance. The more pressure on the edge, yeah. the, more it, the, more it, the tighter the turn. Um, you can just kind of give it a little bit and then throttle it forward and just boom. And the turning experience is just exceptional. It's very unique. It's not for everybody, but if you really just want to go out and make circle carves and just just make all kinds of variations of turns and carves, this drives well off the front foot, this drives off the back foot, you can carve it centered. It doesn't have much taper, so it's not that washy kind of board. And uh, I really like that. I mean, what did you think of this guy? Love turning it, it was so fun. We had great groomers this morning. I mean, today's conditions were exceptional. Um, it's busy for a Friday, but it's still a weekday, so um, yeah, we had some yeah, great Yeah, we still room in the parking lot. That's, yeah, and yeah. it was, yeah, I mean, this thing is, it's a great carver. Love yeah. it. And speed. Yeah, I felt last year's Optimistic might be a little more damp because this top sheet reduces kind of some of the dampness. I even felt like the Y might be a little more damp, didn't you? A little more damp, but not super chattery like some other ultralight boards that we've no. tried recently. Yeah, yeah. It's a good balance, I think. Yeah, I agree. It didn't feel like, it, like so many ultra light boards just become bucky messes as you pick up speed or get in some little uneven terrain. This didn't. Um, so you're sacrificing a little and you're getting a lot more pop, but you're not getting just the, the super messy uneven terrain ride. But neither of these boards you really want to go out in uneven snow. This might send a little more chatter up into your bones in that stiff, I mean that uh, hard groomers, you know, with those micro bumps, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know, like the, just a when it becomes snow minty and it's like like a lot of times in Colorado. You yeah. Know, like uh, halfway through the day, it's just hard with lots of uneven stuff, and it just you know this might send a little more chatter through you, but it's not going to be terrible. And dude, you don't with any of these boards, no matter what size you get, you're really just not gonna have a fun time kind of weaving in and out of bumps. It's just, it's a wide platform. It just doesn't needle through them. But you can't power over stuff like tracked snow and such. You can, you know, you can have I a good time there. I felt fine with that. Yeah, yeah. it was it's pretty cool. Yeah, switch is barely doable. If you're Jimbo, you can ride this switch. <laughs> if you're us, you not maybe, me. But, but not very well. Um, and powder, look, I, I haven't tried this particular board in powder, but I've tried the exact same modern camber profile in a 51, um, and it floats very well. It's a very good powder board, and uh, I would say all but the deepest of deep. And, you know, you could use this, if you wanted this as a groomer, if this could double as a your dedicated powder board and your groomer carver. Perfect That's, board for that. Yeah, I mean, as you look at the hybrid right there, yeah, that might be a little more powder floaty. This has more setback on board. It's further back on the tail, but that's Camrock and it's a bigger, like wider platform. It's got kind of like, you can see the nose, but because it's Camrock as opposed to modern camber, it's kind of a little bit more of the Y these days than, you know, than the, um, you know, than the optimistic. But yeah, you could say it's the the old optimistic, and then you know the uh, 420 kind of turned into kind of a little bit of everything with the cat with a little camber underfoot. Um, very very fun idea. Um, so that might be the board for um, powder, but this is still very. They're both very good. Um, you know, and maybe something else too. Maybe just something completely different. Uh, like Monty Python says. <laughs> uh, but you know, is in terms of like everything else about this board, I love the improvement. I'm a little worried about the top sheet, but I still fucking want it. I love the glide of the base. It's amazing glide. glide. Yeah, that's what I noticed. Yeah. In comparison to the Y, that was one 
one thing that I sort of forgot to mention, but um, yeah, but yeah, the, about th that speed. glide, the glide on this base is the exceptional. Center true keeps its speed really well. Yeah, and, whatever they've uh, done there, it's and working. That centered spec, so it's a base down, and you could feel the difference on snow Big today. Time. Yeah, this had, and they're both 57s. You could feel the glide there. This one I can't remember what it was, but did it feel as fast to you? No, this was the fastest for me. Yeah, this yeah. felt like maybe that centered spec instead of centered true. But this this has some good glide. It reminds me of my pick your line. It's uh, it's got it's got some going on there. So um, yeah, that one. I don't know if I don't know what the base is on the bottom there, but it didn't quite feel as fast. Um, maybe it just wasn't waxed as well or something. But who knows? This one looks like it had a wax a while ago, and uh, it's still super fast. Yeah, it's still it got here. glide. Was, yeah, still thought it was exceptionally good. But overall. Um, nice improvement. The price point is going to be a bit of a hindrance for some people at like Always. 679 or something yeah. like that. It's but all there. in all, um, man, if you can swing it, um, yeah, I want this instead of the Y, don't you? Yeah, I mean, even like I was saying, even the 57, I didn't feel like it was. It's not maybe not something I'd ride every day in that size for me, but um, but I'd be happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go.